my RFID door lock project. You can see I've built the entire circuit on an actual etched PCB, so it looks a little more professional, and I've put the reader inside of a project box. And right now it's on and glowing blue, which is telling me that everything's okay, and it's waiting to read something. So let's swipe an RFID card, and it's green. And you'll notice that the, uh, the door lock triggers at the exact same moment. And now that it's blue again, it's locked. And if we use the wrong RFID tag, we get the red light. And of course we can program with the MasterCard here same one that didn't work. We can now use it and now it's a working RFID tag. So everything works great and I'm just going to mount this box outside and the controller box inside the wall here and an outlet box like this with just a blank faceplate. Let's give you a little peek inside here. Okay, you can see that I've got an uh, identical plug, the RGB LED. I've got a little buzzer that beeps when you read any card, whether it's valid or not. And I've used the SparkFun breakout board for the ID12, which you can see I've glued to the front of this project box. And I've created just little jumpers to put it at a 90 degree angle uh, so that the board will slot in and not move around at all. So this works fine, and uh, you don't even need to make contact with the reader itself to read a card. It actually works just fine, uh, slightly above the reader. I can show you that. As I install the reader outside and the controller inside the wall, this system will be completely functional and working. And all the plans and schematics for both of these boards are going to be up on both the Instructables and my website. So I have the RFID reader installed outside of the door. Now let's see, the door is locked. And if we scan the correct card, the door opens and now it's relocked again back to blue. And for right now I just have the controller hanging outside of the wall. And you can see the data cable is now going outside of the reader, and the uh, red and black cable is for the door lock, 12 volts power. So I'm just going to cut out this hole a little bit bigger, uh, put a nice wall box in there to hide everything, and uh, it's all done. But for right now, it is 100% uh, working.